Presenting the first bout in women's 75 kilogram middleweight. The judges are Denmark, Vietnam, Sri Lanka, France, Brazil. Vamos à primeira luta da categoria peso médio feminino. Pugilistas com até 75 quilos. Os juízes são representantes da Dinamarca, Vietnã, Sri Lanka, França e Brasil. The referee from Morocco. O árbitro é representante do Marrocos, senhor Hassan Moudrika. Please welcome the boxer in the red corner, representing United States of America. Por favor, recebam a pugilista que ficará no canto vermelho, representante dos Estados Unidos da América, Clarissa Shields. Well, this is the 23rd session of boxing. And Clarissa Shields striding confidently towards the boxing ring. At this, the quarter-final stage of the middleweight tournament. And this is her first outing of Rio 2016. She'll probably say, Ron, she's saved the best till last. But uh, I have been looking forward to seeing Clarissa Shields. I think she's a much improved boxer from 2012. And obviously she won gold in London. But her speed and power has increased. Yeah, she's quality indeed. Russia Shields. Here is Yaroslava Yakushina, 23 years of age from Russia, ranked number eight in the world. And these two boxers know one another very well indeed. We are at the quarter-final stage of the women's 75 kilogram middleweight tournament and this a contest, one of the classic Olympic boxing rivalries between athletes from the USA and Russia. The boxer wearing red is Claressa Shields, the reigning world championship gold medalist, the reigning Olympic champion, the tournament number one seed and number one ranked boxer in the world. Her opponent wearing blue with that characteristic low held guard and that tiptoe teasing style is Yaroslava Yakushina, 23 years of age, ranked number eight in the world, and already she's taken a swift right hand over those low-held gloves of hers. Clever start, though, from the girl in blue, Yakushina. She knows she just can't go wading in there because Shields has got very fast hands and she'll get caught, and that's why Yakushina is just staying on the outside and she prefers Shields to come forward here. Clever tactics from the Russian. Low hands, that's the part of the trap. She wants her opponent to punch first and then she's going to counter her. So it's, it's not a bad start from Yakushina, but as, as we know, Shields is very, very quick. But, but tactically here, the Russians, very, very, very clever indeed, Ron. These two boxers met before in the 2014 World Championships at the quarter-final stage. Good right hand once again from Shields. Reflexes of Yakushina, not able to evade that shot. And then takes a hard right to the body and the left hand to the head. Wasn't too far away, so much so that the head guard of Yakushina has been disrupted. 
And I think that's perhaps what's going to be adjusted over in that corner. Long. So Billy Walsh with an eye on the clock. Clarissa Shields in these closing seconds looking to mount a sustained assault. It's been a very bright start by Shields in terms of landing some eye-catching pot shots. And look at the patience being exhibited by both boxers, but then the rapid hand speed of Shields. And at that quarter-final stage in the 2014 World Championships, it was Clarissa Shields who prevailed en route to her first senior World Championship goal. So the tactics plain and simple by this girl, staying on the outside, low hands. She wants to trigger the opponent off. And that's why she's throwing a lot of jabs that aren't even intended to hit the target. It's just to measure the distance all the time and to get a reaction from her, her opponent. But uh, Shields, you said it wrong, eye-catching work that's coming from the American, who's got blistering hand speed. But Yakushina, clever girl, let's have a look. Across the board there, all three judges for the American. So we're into the second round, despite having to wait 12 days to make her first appearance at Rio 2016. Clarissa Shields has started pretty positively, the boxer in red taking the opening round for all three judges. And look at from that overhead shot how the feet, the lead legs are coming together. Shields getting to work behind a stiff left jab. A good right hand success as well from the boxer in red. Nice movement from the waist by Yakushina to avoid the final attempted salvo by Shields. And now it's Shields who drops her hands and is trying to tempt and entice Yakushina into leading off. Just got caught in her own trap there, Shields. You're quite right, dropping her hands, trying to bring your opponent over that front foot. But Yakushina took advantage and actually caught her with a fast shot. So it's cat and mouse, isn't it? It's like a physical chess game again, this one. Who can make the other make the mistake? Lead off first, fall short. That's what it's all about. But um, the eye-catching works definitely from Shields. She's got the faster hands, it would appear, especially at range and probably more power. But Yakushina herself, threes and fours in its short and mid-range. She's effective occasionally. And this daring style that she boxes, that she's presenting here is how we've seen her box over the years. World Youth Champion back in 2011. And a woman who followed her to top spot in terms of World Youth Gold two years later in 2013 was Clarissa Shields. She's still only 21 years of age now, so that won't take much working out. If you follow boxing, you know that Clarissa Shield took that Olympic title in 2012 before she won World Youth Gold the following year. Absolutely remarkable. Here she is, just 21 years of age, looking to return to the medal stages of the Olympic middleweight tournament for the second successive games. Strategic round of boxing that one. There was a brief touch of gloves touch of respect between the two boxers we take a look at the dr ck Wu, the head of aiba and the executive director on screen left i think billy walsh the american coach will be fairly pleased with his boxers work here but i think both boxers are probably guilty of just dropping the hands a little bit too much especially when they're moving away from the opponent Again, quality of the punching sometimes a little bit suspect inside of the glove. Bring back the white marks on the gloves, that's what I say, and that'll help those judges, but that's another story. Let's have a look at the scores. Russia Shields, again, across the board. Remember, Ron, when I boxed, there was those white marks on the gloves, and that was to help the judges score correct punching. And I think it's needed again. Round three. Yeah, that's so into the second round then, excuse me, the third round, second half of the fight, and the boxer wearing blue has conceded the opening two rounds across the board to the a boxer who's a prohibitive favourite really for gold. Cracking left hook from Shields. Yakushina remaining allied to that strategy. 
of trying to trigger a lead that she can counter with her own fast hands. But in Clarissa Shields, perhaps she's meeting a boxer with even more explosive speed than she possesses. So it's proving to be a very difficult task to catch her cleanly. yakashina has got very fast hands on the inside here. Look, that's, that's her strength. Mid and short range, she seems to get threes and fours off, but Clarissa Shields has got the speed at range, mid to long, straighter shots, more direct punching from the American. And when they hit the target, they are eye-catching. But Yakushin is having a bit of success here. And perhaps Shields by either retreating to or being forced into the corner and operating off the ropes like this, bringing Yakushina into it. Runs her onto a right jab there, does Yakushina. And at this type of tempo and this type of distance and in this position of the ring, Yakushina having a little bit of success targeting the stationary shields. Well, this is the Russian round up to now. We're on only 20 seconds to go. So we could be in for a cracking fourth round because if she does get this round, the Russian, Yakushina, that means it'll be two rounds to one. Obviously, if it's across the board, it's going to be a very interesting last round if she gets all the scores at the end of this. Can somebody produce a bit of quality in these closing seconds? It's another more fest right by Clarissa Shields' corner. So more success for the boxer in blue as Shields elected to hold her feet and operate off or near the ropes. And Yakushina was just able to peck and poke her way through with punches on several occasions. Better round for the girl in blue. Yakushina walked onto a couple there, but when she actually backed her opponent up into the corner, which I thought was the wrong choice for Clarissa Shields, Yakushina did some better work. She kept her pinned in that corner, which is always impressive, I think. If you want to impress the judges. Nice little left hook, and that was a cracking shot there from Shields. So, will the scores make it an interesting last round? Let's have a look. Well, Shields gets two of them. I didn't agree with that. I thought Yakushina did enough work to take that round. So, going into the fourth and final round of this middleweight quarterfinal, the boxer wearing blue, Yaroslava Yaroslava Yakushina, who has just taken a few straight, swift punches from Shields. She needs a massive last round because she's conceded all three rounds for judges. A and C, and has taken the previous round for Judge B, but still trailing on that card by one. Really taking a risk now, Yakushina, the way she's coming forward, low hands, and occasionally her feet go square. The head guard again needs adjusting, but she knows it's all or nothing now. She's well behind. She has to try and force a stoppage or a knockout. So she's on that front foot, but by doing that, she risks walking on to that right hand of the American. Oh, that's a cracking right hand, right on cue, Richie. Wonderful range finder without setting up the jab. It had plenty of power and precision when Shields launched it. Shields again being driven back towards the corner. Potkinen looking to find that finishing salvo, and it's getting right, rather untidy as we approach the midpoint of this final round. So Shields waiting. Yakushina leading. Looking for that big burst of punches that is going to put Shields in trouble or on the canvas. Shields countering effectively that time. Good work to both head and body from the boxer in red. And look at the position she's taking up, almost daring Yakushina to lead off and try and land her own offense with Shields in that confined position. Fairly comfortable now for Shields. Yakushina, desperate to try and force a stoppage, but she's got to keep her hands higher. It's all right moving into mid and short range like that, but keep your hands up. You're going to walk on to big shots. There, again, look straight away. Cracking right to the body and left hook to the head, and the referee issues a standing eight count against the onrushing Yaroslava Yakushina. Oh, my 
goodness, what a right hand on the belt. Clarissa Shields landing an absolute beauty that just stopped Yakashina in her tracks. And ultimately, it's going to be a very convincing win indeed for the reigning Olympic champion from London four years ago. Credit to Yaroslava Yakashina. She knew she was trailing going into that fourth and final round. She tried to close the distance. She tried to mount flurries that would put her opponent in trouble, but increasingly, she was just walking onto punches, never more so than in the closing 15 seconds. Well, she had to try and force the stoppage or knockout, so she's got to go into the lines then, hasn't she? And by doing that with those low hands, she was just always going to walk onto that right hand, especially from Shields, and she got caught with some big shots right towards the end of the round. It's a shame she had to have that standing count, because she put in a great effort, Yakushina, but uh, the quality from the American on this occasion was too much for her. So, Clarissa Shields wins her opening bout of Rio 2016, and she's saying two more, two more, because that is the number of victories she needs to successfully retain the Olympic middleweight crown she won in London four years ago. She's made a positive start, taking all four rounds for judges A and C.